Welcome back everyone to the State of the Nation. In our lead story tonight, the sudden removal of the Sri Lanka Telecom Chairman Rahan Fernando prompted speculation as to why this move was necessary, necessary at a point where the telco giant was uh, going to sell its shares. In a so-called boardroom coup, the chairman was removed last Thursday. However, he will continue to remain as a board member. Now, this sudden move by the state-run tele uh, telecom giant sparks a question we need answers to. Is this also part of the whole IMF-led restructuring efforts? It's understandable uh, when you want to uh, sell a loss-making entity, but Sri Lanka Telecom is a profit-making entity that has performed very well since the COVID pandemic. Sri Lanka Telecom shares on the Colombo stock market continued to perform well, trading at around 100 rupees per share last week. We need to understand that it's vital that the government continues to be in control regarding the telecommunications aspect of this country. Sri Lanka Telecom is one of the key internet service providers in this nation. Right now, we know that basically all our crucial data gets transmitted via the internet, controlled by these telecommunications service providers. All our personal, bank and customary data gets transmitted every second, every day. There are only six telecommunications service providers in Sri Lanka. Out of, that, uh, out of the six, five are owned by foreign companies. The only company the Sri Lankan people, controlled via the Sri Lankan government, is Sri Lanka Telecom Mobitel. So why the sudden need to sell this Sri Lankan-owned company as well as uh, why are they pushing for a foreign buyer? Those are questions we really need answers to. Is America interested in buying the remaining stake of SLT Mobitel? Is this another attempt by the government to give everything we owe to America? Well, questions we don't have answers to right now. Let's at least get some clarity to this insanity. Joining me now is the former chairman of Sri Lanka Telecom, Rohan Fernando. Good to see you uh, once again, sir. Thank you very much for being here. Now, a couple of weeks back, you came on this very show as the chairman of Sri Lanka Telecom. And today, sadly, you speak to me as the former chairman. You say it's a coup. Can you explain, uh, Mr. Fernando, as to why you think uh, the board made such a harsh decision? Thank you, Mahesh, for inviting me and getting some clarification. Of course, yesterday I had a press briefing and I explained what happened. I am also baffled as to why they had to do it in such a way with, uh, without any notice, unexpectedly removing the chairman. Removing a chairman and appointing chairman is, I believe, it has to be done in a more decent and correct manner. Uh, primarily when traditionally and you know, for a long time it has been happened through the intervention or on the direction of the Ministry of uh, Finance, which of which President is the now the Minister in charge and instructions given to the board and the companies through the Secretary to the Treasury. So when uh, starting this, I wanted to know whether there was any instruction from the Treasury. There's absolutely none. Nobody has spoken to me. If they had spoken to me and sent a letter asking me to step down, that would have been the most decent way for a, for a, for a changeover. So I have a question as to why they did in such a hurry and what was the hurry. And the other thing, let's look at the country. There are so many, so many government institutions running at a huge loss with a huge burden to the exchequer and to the nation, to the taxpayers. There are so many chairmen who are non-performing, who are drawing substantial salaries and happily continuing with political patronage. So when all these things are happening, I, I have a question mark and doubt as to why they had to interfere in the SLT uh, for a sudden change and for what purpose. This could not have happened without the knowledge of His Excellency the President because he is the person in charge. Indeed, uh, Mr. Fernando, uh, I've known you for some time and uh, I know you are a very sensible and a rational kind of guy. Why did they need to remove you this way? I mean, I'm puzzled. I'm sure if they come and discuss this with you and their claims were valid, you would have indeed stepped down willingly. It looks like uh, to me, in my opinion, that they want to make this move to tarnish your image and credibility. Perhaps they are afraid of what you would say about SLT. 
and the public isn't aware of at this moment. Also, by pushing for such a move, they can always uh, fall back on this notion that he's no longer credible because he's a disgruntled former employee. Uh, look, Mahesh, there's nothing to be disgruntled about. This is not my job. I'm not doing this for a salary. I have my own businesses. I have established my credibility in the marketplace, in the commercial world, and in the sports field also. I mean, my uh, honesty and credibility, I leave it to the people to judge from what I have done and what I have achieved. You don't have to go very far. Three or four years ago, you know where SLT was. It was riddled with corruption. And it was nowhere in the ratings even. Now today, SLT is one of the best performing companies. We were even rated among the, uh, the first, the number eight among the first ten companies. And we have made good profits in 2021. 2022 profits were eroded by a large tax payment of 5.2 billion. And 2023 is going to be a tough year because of the market conditions. Not only SLT, all the other telcos are suffering. And we may suffer less. But for your information, I have never interfered in management. It is not my business to interfere in management. I have only given leadership to the company, which the staff will vouch that they appreciate. And from the messages I am receiving right now from all over Sri Lanka, I am, I am so uh, you know, overwhelmed by their appreciation of what I have done for the company. And they are even saying, sir, don't leave the company, stay on the board, which I have to make a decision. Uh, so uh, so I, I think they must be fearing that uh, the, some of the truths will come out. Because there are a lot of corruptions involving at high level outside Sri Lanka. And people know. And we have not uh, pulled this out or whatever it is unless we have enough information. Now, actually, if the CID is brought in, some of these things can be unearthed. So I don't know whether the new management will have the guts and the resolve to do that, especially the new chairman. He's an he's a astute person. I think he knows what auditing and acquisitions and mergers are. I think I would uh, request him to do that. Indeed, uh, makes a lot of sense. Uh, Mr. Fernando, very quickly, uh, what are your thoughts uh, about selling the government stake in SLT Mobita? You see, Mahesh, I have always maintained that it is not up to the chairman or the board of directors to decide whether it should be sold or not. It is up to the shareholders. The shareholders can decide whether to sell it or not because it is quoted in the stock market. There is absolutely no restriction for the government to sell. And I don't know why they have to go through all these uh, you know, tedious processes when they can you know, announce to the marketplace that they want to sell. They must be having reasons, which I respect if it, they are good reasons. If it is because of the security of the company, because of its sensitivity, then they should take that into account and ensure that proper cyber protection laws are in place, so, uh, proper regulation to implement the Cyber Protection Act is in place and also proper cyber security authority is in place. So I, I presume government uh, and hope government is working in that direction if they want to sell it out to an outside party. Indeed, a uh, lot more to discuss about this issue. Uh, definitely, we will keep the uh, conversation continuing. Mr. Fernando, we had to leave, uh, leave it at that. Uh, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us. Uh, I really appreciate it. That was uh, Rohan Fernando, former chairman of Sri Lanka Telecom Mobitel. Let's end a short commercial break. Be back with more State of the Nation.